Digital Freddie Mitchell, better known as Ice Water. I'm tapping in with Network in the Streets. So let's fast forward. We are gonna uh, talk about the first time you actually, you know, got incarcerated and went into prison. Like when you was old enough to be trying as an adult. Can we talk about that? Like what were you charged for and where did they send you? Okay, I, I was charged, for, I got a position of controlled substance. And I was, I was 16, I got juvenile probation. Soon I got out there, I got a drug case on Wish Street. From there, I got another drug case on Hardy. I went out from there to, to prison. And when I first, before I, I was on dope probation, they had this thing back then called the uh, Skin Spray Program where they round us kids up and take us off to prison on a bus. And on that bus, when we get to prison, they put us in the field, show us how they work, and this and that. Uh, so I was among the like 12, 14 kids they took off on probation. Right here, I should report right there on market right there. Probably from the Fifth Level Club. It should be that that was the probation place. I was on probation right there. So I went off in the van, and <clears throat> they took us on Clemens Unit. Did this kids great program and put us in the field, had us all working. And man, working at Ag and all that, I see the boy never working, I ain't been in no field, none of that type of stuff. I wasn't with all that. Mm. So I like threw the Ag and told him I wasn't doing that shit no more. So one of the dudes named G-Man, that had been incarcerated a long time, who they have out in your face, try to steal you and stop you from doing wrong and ending up in prison, jumped up in my face about this and that and what he'll do. And they take people like me shoes down now. I'm like, you don't take motherfucking things from me. So boom, I was trying to fight the dudes and people, so they ended up bringing us back in, but shit, about six months later, I was on that same unit. Man. I ended up coming to prison, because I turned 18 and caught a drug case and went to that same unit. And what year was that? 88. 88? Yes. And what was your first day like in that unit? Where would I? And I pulled up on the unit because Central was like a unit was laid back with domes. And it was like, it really wasn't nothing rowdy like what I was used to because I came from the county, like on the 10th floor. That's like harder than most of the unit I had been on. So I was looking for some chicken, you know, like they say what you hear, uh, mm -hmm. come jam you up trying to take this, trying to hold you or whatever. And it wasn't that. So, I got with a friend of mine or two, and I was like, man, this ain't what's up. All these dorms and old niggas, man, I ain't with this, man. We got to come over something to get to Beto first and where it's jumping, where youngsters at, yeah. where it's raw at. So uh, me and my partner named Willie Bennett, we created a racial ride. <laughs> it started a racial ride. And hey, how did that How did that come, for, come into play? Well, we got together, me, him, and some old guys talked about this back then. He already was in tune with him racing guy, white guy on the unit, on his dorm. So we plotted to, when, they, when we go to Rick, we gonna get him. And that's what happened, we kicked off a ride. And he ended up having a whole ride and had a warden named Warden Jesus I never did. He was beating us with blackjacks and all. They was shooting so much gas on the man and stuff like mm -hmm. tripping me out cause I wouldn't have to all that. Yeah. So I ended up in the ship, locked up in the ship, the Ferguson unit. And Ferguson unit, as you know, as the fans all know, that's one of the most searched uh, prisons on YouTube because, you know, we had people um, that's going viral talk about Ferguson Unit. So you in the Ferguson Unit in 88? Yes, sir. You got shipped to Ferguson? So did you already hear about stories from Ferguson when you was yes, like? Yes, And was that Gladiator School? That's what yes. people saying. Yes. What was your first day like in Ferguson? Man, the first day I got to Ferguson, believe me or not, I had on some of these same shoes I got on right now called Troops. When I got to Ferguson, you know, you knew you got, back then, this day, you got tags, you got your number on the orange tag, white belts and all this, and you got your property in your bag, I mean, your mattress. So they put me in the day room, I was on M block. They put me in the day room. So while I'm sitting in the day room waiting on them to roll the doors, to open the doors, it's a guy approaching me. Never forget his name, Reggie Williams. And he was like, Say, man, what side of those shoes? I already hear that they be trying to take the shoes and always get snapped. So I told them they're your size. So the nigga reached down trying to get my shoes. I beat his ass and started fighting. So I whooped his ass. So I guess he was the guy that was like kind of known on the unit and 
getting the head ripped. So the guys, while they was waiting to roll in, and I'd be hollering down the run, Howard, Howard. But Howard is from Houston, they knew I was from Houston. So they calling the dude that's repping out, that's respected on the wing and on the, in the unit. They calling him, Howard, Howard. But not knowing this is my partner, they called him. So he Howard, Howard. So, man, this nigga just whooped shit out really trying to take his shoes or whatever, woo, woo. So, boom, after that, they were on the doors. I would live on one row, I was going on two row because I was a new boot. So, I would come out on the end. So when he come to the day room and he see me, he's Freddie Mitchell. He, man, what's up? I'm like, what's up, man? So he tell the day room, hey, man, this little nigga right here ain't to be fucked with. Because in the county, we was on the 10th floor. He went to Ferguson, I went to Central. A lot of my pilot, Denard McMillan, he went to uh, uh, Ferguson. Bernard Cody went to beat old, a lot of my family, they went to these rock and roll units where they sent me and my other partners to this old laid back sister unit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So he told them that, told them that, you know, me and them used to do this and that in the counter, box for money and all that, chip, chips, punch and all that. So from now on, shit, the rest was history, man. Yeah. Yeah. And where was Howard from? What part of Houston he was from? He from Avis Home, Avis Hollywood, Hollywood, Howard, everybody know Howard. Yes, sir. Howard Smith. Yes, yeah. sir. Legend. So in Ferguson, was there already gangs like in Ferguson? Like was it was there Bloods, Crips, Muslims, like Aryans, Mexican gangs in, in, in that time you went there? No, it wasn't no Bloods or Crips. Very maybe one or two of each or whatever. That didn't even really exist. It was more self defense family, Mandingo warriors, Aryan Brotherhood, and which Mandingo was not blood, a gang. You had Aryan Brotherhood, you had the white gang, you had a lot of Mexican gangs, T S. Mr. Mafia, you see what I'm saying? Things of that nature. Was the uh, Muslim prison strong in there? The, the Muslim what? Was the Muslim prison strong in the uh, unit? Or it at, wasn't? At the time, know. it really wasn't like that because it really wasn't hard to know a lot of them, you know, but yeah. they was prison, you know what I mean? They was good people, they were for what was right, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And uh, another question, um, was there was it more so of a territory thing? Was it like Houston versus like Dallas and Fort Worth or oh, yes. Bowman? That was bad. That was at an all time high. Houston and Dallas, that's the number one thing back then it was in prison. Fights war just all the time. You know what I mean? Man from the fight when I uh, <clears throat> whooped this dude named Reggie, so it was a guy there, he real known out of Dallas named Sidney Rose. Everybody know about this. That knows you got people like Mark Polite out of Fort Worth. They can, he can and that's it. that's another person I was gonna bring up. Yeah, yeah. you can he can you can detest he can detest the story or whatever. So at the time when Howard was telling them I can fight and I used to buy, I used to do that. This guy said the road. He's original boxer. He was Golden Gloves. He had won in the Golden Gloves or whatever. Where I went boxing, went to the Golden Gloves and lost. Smaller dude. I forgot to tell you about that, but it this is a long story. Anyway, he. When we went the next day we went to work in the fields, he didn't like me because of what he's hearing and I just what to do. And our new boots, they always try. That's the new boots, people that's friends come on the unit. So we had, we in the fields working and he tell his boss man that he wanna he wanna, he got him one. And I went up to the terms that he got one and he wanna look at me and this and that. So Howard's home or behind me was working and we was in the same squad and he was schooling. He was like Freddie, this nigga finna call yacht. I'm like, what's the deal? He's like, you want to fight you? I'm like, oh, he already knew I was down for all that. That's what I love to do. So I'm like, okay, I'm down. So at the water break, we work every hour. At the every hour, they give you a water break. At the water break, I'm getting water. The nigga like, man, come on out here. Sid the Rose. Man, me and that nigga fought. I got the best of them. So when we came in from the fields, we eating. He beat for me in the child hall. We fighting again. We get back on the wing. We fought again. From then on, ice water was known throughout the system. Dang. So, where did you get ice water from? Actually, like that name came from a good friend of mine I grew up with by the name of Larry Gio White. He gave me that nickname out here in the streets. Because when we was out here hustling and thugging, getting money at a young age, you had, at the time, those fiends that try to take your drugs, they'll do this and that, that, or whatever. I was a youngster that wasn't having it. I was knocking old niggas out at 13. And old nigga at 12, 14, and he gave me that nickname. And that's where Ice Water came from. That's where Ice Water came from. Most still. So let's get back to uh, Ferguson. So, 
How long did you do uh, time in Ferguson? Like a year or something. Oh, a year or something. But yeah. you, you did a lot in Ferguson to where your name spread it out through yeah. the Well, actually, from, from that day, from that, from that day to that evening, that week, because you got drawn beat. That's what you call it. You can write letters. Now you can't from system to system. And Sid was a guy that was known all over the system. And I was the guy that just came in the system. He had been in the system five years. I hadn't been in the system no more than five or six months. A kid, 18. Then whooped the legend in the penitentiary. See what I'm saying? So now it's going all over the unit and on the unit and all over the system about me. Mm. See what I'm saying? So now some of his partner, when I got shipped with Ferguson, uh, while I was still there, they want to try me. Even his cousin, Micah, Rose, just a lot of stuff. You know, they just, they place like that. Mm -hmm. And see it out, just up for the town.